Hi guys, welcome to section six, the SharePoint add-ins and SharePoint framework section of the video course. In this section, we'll be covering the foundational elements of SharePoint add-ins and how you can get up and running with client-side web parts using the SharePoint framework. We'll go into how to create an add-in, how to customize it to show custom web part properties, and how to debug the underlying code and deploy it into your SharePoint environment. In this video, we'll be going over highlights of SharePoint add-ins and the SharePoint framework so you have an understanding of what it is and how you can use it to enhance the SharePoint user experience. SharePoint add-ins are self-contained pieces of functionality that are used on pages, lists, and sites. You can develop add-ins as custom actions, app parts, or a fully immersive page that enhance the user experience based on the needs of your project or organization. There are two versions of an add-in, SharePoint hosted and provider hosted. SharePoint hosted add-ins are deployed into your SharePoint environment, while provider hosted live in a remote web application outside of SharePoint. Usually, SharePoint hosted add-ins are developed with client-side technologies such as REST APIs and JavaScript, while provider hosted apps are built with CSOM. When you create an add-in, the components are deployed to the add-in web, which allows for self-contained capabilities that extend SharePoint websites. You can also declaratively deploy assets with XML, such as pages, lists, and JavaScript files. SharePoint add-ins can be made available to your organization through an app catalog, or you can deploy your add-in to the Office Store for public use. The SharePoint framework is a client-side development model that allows you to use modern, open source web technologies that integrate with SharePoint. The SharePoint framework allows you to use any development environment to build your apps, so you're not limited to one language, IDE, or development library. If you're using the SharePoint framework for your SharePoint Online environment, you can use the latest release, currently at version 1.8.0. However, if you plan on using SharePoint framework with an on-prem environment, the supported version is 1.4.1 at the time of this recording. The SharePoint framework is also framework agnostic, meaning you can choose to build your app with frameworks and libraries such as React, AngularJS, Knockout, or just plain JavaScript. When using the SharePoint framework, the app is run within the context of the current user, so it inherits the capabilities of the logged in user. It's also rendered right in the DOM, so it fits within the content on the page and is responsive. You can also use SharePoint Framework in both classic and modern pages. So why use the SharePoint Framework? It allows you to create rich and dynamic apps using modern web technologies. You can use your preferred development stack, which means you have the flexibility to build it with technology you're familiar with. You can create reusable functionality by building components and using them in other web parts. It allows you to create responsive designs that looks good on both desktop and mobile devices. It's also supported by the community, so you have access to various open initiatives, such as documentation, samples, and reusable controls. So in conclusion, we gave an overview of SharePoint add-ins and the SharePoint framework. We talked about what SharePoint add-ins are and how they can benefit your projects and organization by enhancing the user experience. We also talked about the SharePoint framework and how it enables you to use the latest web technologies to build your SharePoint apps for an efficient development experience.